Hello, hello. Good morning, everybody. Miss Fierce here from the Fierce Trade House. Happy Labor Day. Happy Labor Day, everybody. Um, very, very excited because, yes, it's a holiday today and tomorrow. <laughs> um yeah so it's pretty good uh but obviously the chats um you know will still be here we're still looking at the chats preparing for the week and that's what this is this is my sunday weekly analysis thank you for tuning in as always um and if you're here for the first time welcome welcome please share sharing is caring like and subscribe uh, that being said um i just wanted to start with a recap of one of my coolest trades um of the week and that was NAS last week. So I just want to run you guys, uh, run down this pair um, and how it played out. Like you can see, this is my setting. Um, I got into this market um, on, um, when was this? I got in here um, on Friday, or oh, yeah, really on Friday. Um, and I was anticipating NAS to drop. So this is the five, five minutes, like this called the 15 minutes. Um, and this was during the London, the London session. So don't worry, my charts are a bit messy. I sometimes keep the annotations there just so that it's easy for me to remember exactly what happened. So yeah, so basically this was Thursday Asian. Okay, we saw price drop and begin to pull back. It formed a gap here, then the gap was filled. And then what I anticipated was that um, following the gap uh, being filled, and then we kind of took um, um, filled some imbalances here on the lower time frame. We then began to break down. So these were actually this was actually a setup rather that I took in the London, and then I re-entered in the New York. Okay, um, so London we did about let's say. Um, we did about um, 140 pips points rather. So actually I just, um, usually what I do uh, from London session, I usually just look for 100 points and because I usually anticipate this could be a pullback either in the New York or in between in the London. So I, I got out at 100 points and then obviously it pushed down a bit uh, into the New York uh, opening about 100, uh, an extra 40, 42 points thereabouts. And then there was this aggressive move that happened at around 9.30 when the, the and New York Stock Exchange actually opens. And when I saw this move, I just I was just like, cool, this is definitely, this was definitely a liquidity grab. It was also going back to retest the order block up here that um, of the London. Um, and I then went to a lower time frame and I could see we're now breaking down. So you can see we really broke down nicely. And this was actually my entry um, on the re-entry. Okay, so I got in at this re-entry here. So this was the first tap. I think it, it was some cause of spread that I didn't actually get tapped into this trade, but I got in on this second uh, trade. And you can see how beautiful it was because of this aggressive drop down. If you look at it on the 15, it, it looks, that aggressive drop looks, the momentum here was quite some, the displacement was quite something. So when I saw the displacement, despite seeing there was an imbalance up here, I kind of knew that we definitely are headed down. And also because there was a gap um, that was left um, during the Thursday London session, if I'm not wrong, was it Thursday, Tuesday, I think, I believe. Um, and, and so I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to go all the way. And you guys can see, I literally just placed my exit at the top of um the gap i mean the bottom of the gap because i was like i don't think it'll go all the way down so i just placed it there um and we can see we literally um let me see this was my this was my exit right so we we did not tap it we did not tap it directly but you can see there's a minor gap. But as soon as I saw this, I was like, I'm done. And anyway, it was the end of Friday. Uh, I was like, there's no way I'm holding a trade or trying to see if this thing will drop. And and, and then everything just ended. So this trade was actually, I mean, if I look at this entry from up here all the way down, that's about 
400 points, you know, inclusive of the 100 in the morning. So this was a really, really, really good trade. And I shared this in my Telegram group. I shared the chat earlier in my Telegram group. And I told guys, we are still headed down. I know yesterday people are like, oh, we are pushing up. I mean, the previous day on, on Thursday, um, you know, people, uh, guys were like, we're going to buy, we're going to buy. But I was like, yes, we're going to buy until the imbalance. And we did exactly that. And then we dropped in the Asia. So I anticipated that. And when I saw this pullback, I was just like, okay, this just looks like, you know, one of those structural, very obvious structural plays that show you that price is now just about to break down. And yeah, and I do teach this in my class and I know the students in my class understood this setup when I shared it in my Telegram even before it happened. So yeah, so this was actually the trade of the week. Nas really played out nicely. So that being said, um, I want to look at this from the weekly. Um, um, yes, guys, I, 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 was, I, ha I just had to show you um, <laughs> what happened. And remember, I had even, I had talked about um, this, um, you can see my li weekly liquidity was taken out. Um, and then we just basically, um, I mean, there's a lot of liquidity still lying um, lower. So, you know, th there's potential to retest those levels at some point. We are, we are looking very bearish, but I'm going to just, you know, um, go out on a limb and say it's very possible that we may tap into this liquidity level here at, um, and again, excuse my messy chat. I just don't want to really necessarily remove the markings right now. Um, but yeah, one, two, six, two, five point nine. We may possibly tap there, okay? But I also won't be surprised if we begin to see um, a rejection off of this zone because we've just taken out liquidity, okay? We've just taken out a, a lot of liquidity. And so I'm going to anticipate that you're possibly going to open bullish or, it, or we may um, open bearish, but then we then may end up seeing the week, you know, like just pull back, okay, re retest previous zones of, um, of, um, of imbalances. Um, so like, like, you know, and then continue on our way to the to, to down. So the weekly is looking very bearish, but the daily you can begin to see, you know, a bit of, a, of, of the, you know, we're we are possibly trying to taper out on that down move. So that's why I'm anticipating that we may push lower. Okay. Um, uh, you know, and then just take out this low of, um, the 26th. And then, you know, tap into it or something, take it out, and then now begin to shift up, possibly targeting imbalances before we continue down. So right now, I don't know if we will definitely, you know, the weekly is looking like it's very possible. It could just drop all the way to this uh, level that I've already pointed out, which is what, about uh, 250 points away, 54 points away. Um and if that doesn't happen, I like I said, I will not be surprised if I see a pullback into, uh, let's say, 131.79 levels or even, um, let's say, 130, 44.3 levels and then maybe continue, take out more liquidity and push up. So so that's basically what I'm, I'm, I'm seeing. We could see some pullback, okay? So that's for NAS. Um, obviously I will look at it on Monday, possibly share a chat, uh, drop a chat in my, in my group. Um, although I believe Monday is a holiday, is a, is a holiday. So, um, anyway, we'll, we'll see. So I'll still drop the setup, you know, just whether the market is open or not. Yeah. So then we have US 30. And US 30 is, um, guys, just hold on a bit. Hold on a bit. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, uh, my daughter was singing behind the scenes pretty loud. Um, yeah, so when it comes to like um, US 30, you know, we're still looking the same. There's this target zone here um, where there's liquidity down here at 
3.2695.6. Um, there is potential to, you know, um, that's about 365 points away. So I'm, I'm anticipating that there's potential, that's where we're headed. So even if we pull back, we're pulling back to clear an imbalance or retest a supply zone, um, or maybe deal with you know some liquidity, maybe on a lower time frame that was not taken care of, and then we are going to continue to push down. So just like Nas, I am bearish. I'm anticipating that pull back into some zone, some supply zone. Um, but because of the liquidity still lying below, I'm still bearish okay, on on the indices. So let me look at gold. Um, I haven't traded gold in a while. Um, now gold is oh, it's looking nice, looking nice on the daily. So um, what I'm seeing with gold is um, so what I'm seeing. Let me let me look at the let me look at this bit again again again. So you know we have some imbalance on the weekly. You know, we closed very bearish, and, you know, from this uh, push up and then now we kind of pulled back. I'm trying to see, are we really ready to start buying it? I, I, I mean, I'm bullish on gold um, at this point in time. I, I, I just don't know. I think there's imbalance on the weekly downside. We may pull back a bit lower. But this is really nice. We can see that um, we took out levels of liquidity here. And then literally um, the next, that was possibly on Thursday. Then on Friday, we attempted to uh, push up. We did tap into some um, zone, break of structure zone and imbalance. And um, We do have, you know, there's a zone here that, you know, I'm, I'm like, I'd really like to see it maybe tap a bit lower before we see a move up. I'm bullish long term on gold. Okay. I, I mean, just because of the structure on the, on the weekly, this is a pullback. We do have an imbalance below, so we may try and tap into that and then continue. So we may open bearish, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if that happens, but then again, uh, as you can see, taking out liquidity. So we may first pull back before we continue. Okay, so again, um, daily, daily, daily. I'm just like, um, I'll see. I'll see what happens when the market opens. I'll see what happens when the market opens. When the market opens. Mm -mm -mm. But I'm bullish. Long term, long term, long term. Yeah, so, I'm a, you know, we, we could get all the way at least, you know. Yeah, so. This is this was you know like the one hour order block, but it's on an imbalance. So this is you know a zone of interest. Like this is very interesting structure. Very interesting. Yeah. There is potential to just keep going. The structure is bearish as well. You know, there's a lot of activity down here. So yeah, I'm seeing like we could possibly push lower before we go up. So that's really my take on gold. Um, let me look at a currency. So I look at the GBP pair, GBP USD. Uh huh. GBP USD really, really pretty much. Oof. Yeah, I'm seeing like we will possibly see a rejection. We'll possibly see GU begin to push up, clear out, um, uh, and possibly go all the way to 1.30284, or at least near term 28308 level. 
which is about 262 points all the way to 400 points. I mean, I mean pips, yeah. So that's G, let me look at Euro USD. Very bearish structure though. Very, very bearish structure though. Um, hmm. Very, very structured. So even if we push lower, I still think, yeah, we could push lower, but expect a pullback. Okay, so expect a pullback on that. Euro card, let me see. We look at a different pair. So we did tap into this imbalance, this potential to reject off of it. And then maybe continue down, clear out liquidity, and then possibly start the, the move up. Um, but yeah, potential to just push up, potentially, potentially, because of this, you know, this imbalance uh, order block zone is pretty um, reactionary. So I'm assuming, and then look on the daily, we did bullish structure we may continue to feel gap maybe even take out liquidity that's resting above here so i'm anticipating possibly we could go back all the way to 1.3 so like yeah so that's like um that's like about what 267 pips and then maybe continue down because there's liquidity resting above here so that's really my play um let me look at aud so AUD USD looking pretty, pretty nice. Um, very bearish as well. I mean, this was a pretty, pretty awesome displacement. Um, ah, wow. Potential sign that we're gonna drop, but I feel like we need to retrace back before we continue to drop. So I'm going to anticipate the same thing I saw on Euro USD. Um, some pullbacks before we continue to just clear out all the liquidity downside and there's a lot of displacements um, below. So we are approaching a uh, area of, you know, um, this zone here, we may reject off of it. We may reject off of it, maybe pull back and then continue on down or the block here but i still feel like you know there's a, a level here that in future will be an interesting level to see aud get to that's about um about 360 pips away so that will be a long-term target so I'm anticipating that we may reject off of this order block and then push up and then continue to the downside, okay? Let me look at um, one more pair. Let's say USD, JPY. Okay, every time I... Okay, so USD. Hello. Yeah, so we can see, you know, USD has been gaining and I have a feeling that it's going to continue to gain um, aggressively. I mean, we can see, wow, we can see we've literally taken out external liquidity and um, it's like we're just headed to the side. So let me zoom in. Very consistent, <laughs> this up move, okay? But we're now beginning to see like, you know, there's possibly, you know, need to you know, pull back. The pressure may be reducing the momentum rather. Um, 
at least I, I, I'd want to see a pullback all the way. At least, you know, about, at least about 600 pips to the downside before we continue. I mean, I would really like to see that happen or at least um, three, 400, you know. So my take is, I'm going to look for, um, you know, possibly a drop and a retest and a continuation to the downside. So I'm not just going to say, okay, jump in for a sell. No, I'm going to wait and see how um, Monday market open, or rather the market open, Sunday open. I want to see how it goes. But that's what I'd be anticipating, that, you know, we'll see price push down, clear the imbalance below. Um, reject off of the order block, retest, uh, maybe even push higher, you know, and then I want to see a retest all the way back to 125.840. So what I'm just saying is for me with USDJP, well, I'll be looking for a bearish structure on the chart. And once I see that, I'll be taking it all the way to 125.840. So hopefully that makes sense. Yeah, so guys, I want to keep this short and sweet. I just wanted to look at a couple of pairs. You all know I trade NAS. I don't trade, uh, I'm not trading Forex right now, currencies, because the markets have been a bit dicey. But now the way um, I'm seeing USD has been moving um, recently, it's very possible we're going to be start seeing the Forex currencies beginning to really move possibly in this new um, quarter, yeah? So yeah, so guys, um, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, please like and subscribe, share because sharing is caring. See you soon. Bye-bye.